hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to vectorize an image here in adobe express let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in adobe express i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Adobe Express doesn't have a direct vectorization tool like Adobe Illustrator does, but you can achieve a similar effect using creative techniques by leveraging the Adobe's ecosystem. Alright, so once you are logged into your account, I want you to click on the project or design that you are working. If you haven't already, this is going to be the opportunity for you to go to more ways to start and click the view all. In this section, there is going to be a tab that says Quick Actions. I want you to click on it. And the first thing that we need to do to create a vector kind of effect here in Adobe Express, although our tools and options are quite limited, is to convert it to SVG. That's the most important thing to do. I want you to click on it. And from here, you might want to drag and drop a JPEG or PNG image to convert to SVG, which is what I'm going to do right now. All right, so this is going to be the image that I'm going to somewhat kind of vectorize. All right. Just wait for it. While Adobe Express cannot create true vectors, of course, we're going to try our best to give a vector-like appearance. You see that? Now, all I have to do is download this. What right? once it's downloaded, I'm going to upload it to a new page here. All right, same size. I'm going to upload that. Now, since SVG is not a native file for Adobe Express, you might want to use another platform for it to be converted. I'm using Canva, for instance. Okay, so this is the basically um, image from the uh, Adobe Express that we have exported, and I'm going to download it here via the uh, Canva. All right, it's a crossover. Now I'm going to download it as a PNG here in this platform and then export it again to the Adobe Express. All right, let me click on download, wait for it. Now, once the file has been downloaded right here, see, we opted for the uh, optimal effect. Now you can use the remove background for this, all right? So what will happen is we it would retain the photo only of or the face only that we wanted to achieve the effect all right we don't need all of these um extra text right here what we need is the image only it it, it is trying to remove it so uh, just wait for it a little bit it takes a little while now once you are happy with this for example what you can do from here is basically create a vector kind of effect by putting say for example a media no an element i'm sorry an element all right go to the shapes go to shapes because you can manually draw from here what i'm going to do is select the border thickness right here all right and of course you can try to create a vector kind of feel all right so i'm not really good with this but you are, if you're still following that's the kind of effect that we are trying to do because again your options are limited here in Adobe Express. If you want more advanced tool for vector, you might want to use Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator as well. So uh, they are designed for the vector images like this. But for now, we can do with our limited options. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.